Alright, the next step in getting 3CX set up is setting up some extensions. First of all, we install. Next, we set up some extensions and make sure those extensions work. So we'll go right to work here. And all right, so the way we log in is we type in that your IP address colon 5481 as the port, and we just use the administrator and password that we had designated when we set 3CX up originally. And really, when you set up 3CX, you're going to want to start up here and move down. A typical install is extensions, make sure those work, then you can. Uh, and then I guess I might jump down to digital receptionist uh, sort of work your way back at the extensions and make sure the digital receptionist works from internal and then maybe set up a, a telephone gateway or a VoIP provider I would see that as a normal process so let's click on extensions here and here we have a blank new extension we already have 100 so it's going to 101 and we could type in here uh, John Doe, and you can put your John at gmail.com. That's the email address that if you want the voicemails to be sent to. And then the ID and password, they're going to be set to the same. You know, do we want voicemail for this available for this one? What's the PIN number to get your voicemail? And then I found from previous testing you need to click OK, apply and OK before, and then you have to go back into the extension so that you can set up forwarding rules and have the voicemail go uh, to the extension you just set up. So the next step is we want to set up some forwarding rules. That extension would work, but if you'd call it and it was not registered, in other words, a phone was not turned on or something, you it would just go nowhere. So we have to set up what happens when for example the phone is not even con connected to 3CX yet so not registered condition all hours all calls and the action is I would guess you want it to go to voicemail and we want it to go to the voicemail of extension 101 and add so now if we don't set up a phone just right now if I would get another phone and call um, it will go to voicemail Then probably another scenario if there's no answer, all the same type of thing. So we'll just click Add Rule. Really nice, it remembers all your settings. And so let's say the phone is busy, probably the same thing, go to voicemail. Okay, so now we have some forwarding rules. You can get really a lot more exotic, but for now we're just going to let that. We can come back later on to take a look at that. Phone provisionings, if you want to automatically set up your phone, my opinion is probably simpler just to go in and type the information in. Uh, depends how big your scenario is and then some other things that you can probably pretty much ignore for right now so let's just ignore that for now and that's pretty much setting a basic extension setup so now let's go into the phone and set the phone up alright so we have we're gonna set up a VoIP client real basic real quick login we have the IP address because I had it set up for someone else put in 101 101 okay all right and the reason things are not lighting up over here is because we're using the free edition the paid edition of 3cx will give you indication over here but how do we test a, a good quick test to see if your extension works is call voicemail please enter personal identification number then press pound I'm just type in the pin 101 and pound you have no messages. Press star to play. Press 9 for options. And that is truly how simple it is to set up an extension. Really, login, IP address, extension, and PIN number. Hardly could be simpler. And there we just set up a an extension that does work. And that is really what there is to it. Alright, and then the next step would be adding... I, I always say add three extensions that way you can try all the possibilities out for example calling one extension and transferring them to another call park that type of thing you almost need three extensions in my opinion to test 
two at the minimum, three is a good test. So we can just add one more. We can just add one more by going add extension. And of course it sets it up to 102. And you know how it goes. And that would be our third extension. And now what I'm going to do, real quick, I think we have the time here. All right, what I did here is I have two soft phones on this computer. And yeah, I can actually, yes, you can actually do that. I'm sure it's not recommended, but you can do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this phone up to be extension 100. And the other soft phone that's right on the same screen here is also 100. I mean, is, is 101. So now we can test whether we can call one phone to another. We might get some feedback. It might be a little noisy, but let's give it a shot because we're calling one phone to another. But I'm going to call 101. Okay, we're going to pick up. Put it on hold. And it sounds like we have two-way audio. That's pretty good. All right. So we'll just hang up here. All right. So now we uh, added two extensions. Realize we can call one from the other. So I think we've got extensions set up in a basic way. Thank you.